Uh, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today i've got another official 2022 nba mock draft video that i'll of course be doing with you guys again in this video i actually wanted to talk about who i think the new york knicks should be selecting with the 11th overall pick again i think you knicks fans are gonna be pretty excited when i start talking about the player that i've of course got them taking again i think this is a pretty important pick uh, for the franchise because there's a, a couple of things that I think need to be done for them to potentially be back in playoff contention and it shouldn't be too hard things as long as you know some things fall in place and hey if this player fall down uh, falls down rather to where I think he will I think it could be a step further to get into where they want to be now of course again before I get into it, this will be, of course, a clip from my official 2022 NBA mock draft. If you guys would like to go and check out that full video, so you basically get to see every other player I got going to all the other teams, um, definitely go do it. I will be linking it in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, I guess without further ado, let's just get straight into it with who I think the New York Knicks should be selecting with their 11th pick in the 2022 NBA draft. But with the 11th overall pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, we've actually got the New York Knicks, who I have them actually getting a steal in this draft. I've actually got them taking Benedict Mathurin. Now, this is a really, really tough pick because some people actually have Benedict going all the way up to pick number seven in the Portland Trailblazers. A lot of people really, really like him. He has the really great ability to guard one through three. But then there are just some people that aren't completely sold at him. And I've even seen a projection of him going at pick 16, which I think is ridiculous. I think he needs to go way higher than that. Again, I have some people who have him at like, you know, 13 and then some have him at 8. I've got him going at 11 here to the New York Knicks, where I just think this is the perfect situation for not only him, but the Knicks, especially if the Knicks are looking to keep Tom Thibodeau long term. He's a really big you know, defensive-minded head coach. And the fact is, if you draft Mathurin with this pick, you're able to bring in, again, a dude that has, you know, ability to guard one through three. Uh, seems to be a decent shooter as well, which should help them out. 37% from three. I guess a kind of player I might compare him to is a player that the Knicks actually recently lost, which kind of hurt them, was Reggie Bullock. I mean... Tom Thibodeau really liked Reggie Bullock, and he seemed to like him a lot more than Evan Fournier. And on paper, Evan Fournier would be the way better player, but it looked like the Knicks were better off with Bullock in the end because he just fit the way that, you know, New York played a lot more than what Evan Fournier did. And that is all basically come down to Tom Thibodeau at the end, you know, of the day. Again, as I said, he is such a good defender, in my opinion. Um, his handles aren't exactly that great, I wouldn't say. Um, and again, he definitely has the ability to, I guess, kind of slash to the ring as well. But I don't think that's going to be exactly his, I think, thing that he's going to focus on when he gets drafted. Um, if Especially if it's to the Knicks. If he goes to the Knicks at pick 11... What they're probably going to want him to do is come off the bench and play decent minutes. And I think one night he could be guarding point guard. One night he could be guarding the two. One night he could be guarding the three. And one night if they're going pretty small, he could even be guarding the four. Um, but again, they're going to want to have him on the court for that defense. And of course, three-point shooting. I don't think they're going to want him to be a shot creator. They've already got RJ Barrett. Um, they've still got Julius Randle, and they've got Cam Reddish, who they're not even giving minutes to at the moment. So I don't think they're going to need him to be a shot creator. I think if the Knicks manage to get their hands on Mathurin, that will be, again, the ideal situation for them coming out of this draft. Because recently, what it's looked like they've needed is defense. Because as I said, Tom Thibodeau is like the most defensive-minded coach in the NBA and half of his team just aren't exactly that great at defenders anymore. Um, unlike his, you know, team that he had in like the first year of coaching the Knicks, losing players like Reggie Bullock really did kind of hurt um, what I think he was trying to target. So again, gaining a player back like Benedict Mathurin would actually be, a, again, a really good player for them to bring in. 
I really do like this move. The other player you could go after is Dyson Daniels, who I actually had going at pick 10 to the Wizards. There's, of course, a big chance they might try and trade up for him. And if they think Mathurin's going to go higher, they might try and trade up for him as well. But either way, I think they're going to try and land one of these guys. Chances are, though, both of them could go before this pick. But lucky for them, on my mock draft, I do have Mathurin dropping a little bit. But again, as I said, some people have him going at 7. And don't be shocked if like a team like the Portland Trailblazers really did actually reach a little bit and draft a guy like this. Because again, he would also fit the way that, you know, they're kind of playing as well. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA and news and NBA content. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think this would be a good move slash selection for the Cavaliers, or do you guys think it wouldn't? Again, I definitely would really like to know. What are your thoughts and opinions on the other teams? Again, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the